What is going on YouTube? Back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Fomar 9, Empower Your Imagination, a video editor for all creators. <laughs> I'm childish. But anyway, <laughs> filter overlays, transitions, and custom titles. So you can create without limits as they say. They're not playing around. You got all the wonderful transitions and stuff. If you want to check this video out, feel free to go take a look at it this video is honestly just for people who do not even want to sit through and scroll through the website you maybe want to click play and just i guess listen hopefully my voice isn't too trash or annoying but anyway never miss a beat perfect your sound oh yeah that's that's magical with tools like keyframing background noise removal and an audio equalizer now that's snazzy i likes that because feel more eight point whatever or feel more anything before that that was not cool like trying to you couldn't even see the waveform like the wave it just didn't look right you couldn't tell where stuff was or where what it just i didn't like it so that is a well needed and well deserved update appreciate you for that and then you got the beyond the basic so now you can do all these different layers and stuff. We'll get to that a little bit further down. But now what you can do is, you know, take the green screen, film yourself, and then put the exact thing you want behind you, place that on the timeline above your clip of you. So then, you know, you can keyframe yourself over that bad boy and then boom shaka laka. And then you're gonna be looking like this guy, like he chilling, sipping some doggone tea at the beach that's fire then you got the full 4k support not just you know halfway but full 4k support so it's ensuring that every frame is super duper crisp look at look at this look at this i like that and then you got the ready for anything so if you want to add some more layers you can do it you can add so many layers what a hundred layers i've never used that many but if you want to the choice is yours you can do it now you even have proxies so your editing can be sped up and faster and all the rendering and sliding around and and scrolling through stuff will look nice and smooth you got to fine tune your adventure Man, you can fix your action cam, make it look beautiful at this point. Shake and all that stuff, because some action cams do not have a beautiful stabilizer. Uh, we're not going to get into all that, but all cameras is different. And then you got the perfect, your aesthetic. I always say that word weird. I don't know. I feel like I say it goofy. But you can change your LUTs and all that 3D stuff. I don't fool with it because my screen is not very color accurate so for me personally i just like to leave my colors as is especially if i'm like doing something like a screen recording i mean it's going to show how the, the actual video is supposed to be shown i'm just seeing it differently everybody's going to see it differently depending on what monitor they have but yeah that's a whole nother situation and share your story tailor your content to any platform you can upload directly to youtube directly to vimeo straight there but also a key feature they should have listed right here is that you can also change your actual uh, bit rate before the automatic upload would not let you change your bit rate you could choose like um the three different presets but now you can change the whole thing just like you're rendering it to just your computer so that's pretty cool so like you know just a quick little video talking about for more nine just a quick little quick little talk i really do like the update that they did i like all the new features that they added it really does make everything move smoother and nicer i enjoy it one thing that i wish it had was um what is it the optimized export option that Filmora 8 has. If it had that, that'd be cool. I just like to see it. Maybe it's already optimized and it just don't show that you can select it, but it's already doing it. Not for sure, but that's what I wish I could see. I just like, I'm a visual person. I wanna see that it's, it's clicked. Now I will say this, I don't advise you to use 
the GPU acceleration, none of that. Because if you do that, it, it, I don't think it's optimized like it should be, but I'm, I'm more than likely gonna talk about that in another video. But long story short, it, it honestly like flickers the application. So the application is flickering. Like what? And <laughs> I thought my laptop screen or something was going wonky. So I went to something else, perfectly fine. But it's flickering. And then when you export the video, for some reason with that checked, with uh, GPU acceleration checked, ticked, whatever you want to call it, in the settings performance section, it literally does not look nice. It starts to do some weird stuff to the video that were never there in the actual recording. But yeah, let me know how you feel about Fillmore 9. Let me know if you like it. Fun fact, I used to call call Fillmore 9. I used to call Fillmore Fillmore. I don't know why. I just thought I heard it be called Fillmore. And so I just kept calling it Fillmore. But it is not. It is Fillmore. I hope I've called it Fillmore this whole video. Because if I haven't, I'm sorry. I apologize. But anyway, let me know what y'all think about Fillmore 9. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Um, what things do you want to see added? What things do you want to see took? I mean, it'll be kind of goofy. Why would you take something? You could just not use it. But anyway, till next time, slam the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new for more videos and upcoming videos. Go check out some other videos too. I have some things at the end of this video linking to some other ones. We got plenty of stuff for you to watch if you choose to do so. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.